Westwood Robotics has got the world talking about their latest humanoid robot, the Themis V2, a life-sized robot they claim is the most agile of its kind. A couple decades ago, robots that walked and moved like humans were firmly in the realm of science fiction. However, today, humanoid robots now look closer to us than ever before, and they're getting better than ever at completing human tasks every day. With advanced AI algorithms and greater flexibility, Westwood robots are already accomplishing amazing feats like taking out the trash, picking up packages, and even walking a smaller robot. And their latest model comes with even more upgrades that make it a better household assistant and a potential replacement to millions of workers. Barely a month ago, Westwood Robotics got on people's radar when they released a video of their latest Themis V2, complete with 40 degrees of freedom and an upgraded 7DOF arm and hands, the latest addition to impressive humanoid robots, quickly became one of the most agile on the planet. Its improved features added more flexibility to the robot's design, allowing it to complete more human-like tasks with smoother motions. Despite not being able to outperform Boston Dynamics' Atlas in acrobatics, the Themis V2 still has higher dexterity and is arguably the most agile robot for practical and daily use. But how did a less popular company like Westwood Robotics succeed in making such an agile robot? Surprisingly, the company hasn't been in the game that long, with their first significant robotic milestone launching less than three years ago. After dabbling with a preliminary demo in November 2022, the company released a video announcing their first humanoid robot, called Bruce. Unlike other robotics companies that started with imitating quadruped animals to understand biomimetic movement, Westwood dove straight into the deep end, albeit with a miniature-sized bipedal butt. Standing at only 70 centimeters, Bruce was kid-sized and an essential part of the team's robotics research and education. However, Westwood couldn't take all the credit, as they worked in collaboration with Romela, the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory, to bring this project to life. Short for Bipedal Robot Unit with Compliance Enhanced, Bruce felt more like a class science project, as the team's intention was to create a humanoid robot that was fun and safe to help researchers, particularly students, worldwide. To that end, the company continues to run an open source platform that allows all customers access to their community of developers and project resources. You can even still find some of their tutorials on their YouTube page. During the buying process, you can even select what mini project you're interested in, including straight knee walking and long endurance, single leg hopping, running at a speed of 1.2 meters per second, making Bruce backflip off a platform and jump with 180 degree yaw rotation. All their customers also have access to an exclusive reward program to get up to $1,000 cash. So if you're interested in robotics, you should probably consider getting a Bruce. After all, for its size, it's remarkably reliable with easily upgradable hardware and an actively evolving code base. Another testament to the small company's innovation is Bruce's proprioceptive lower limbs, which enables the bot to know the exact position and angle of its joints. As a result, the robot can adjust its movements while in motion, making its gait smoother over different terrain. To keep these incredibly complex joints working, the robot also has a liquid-cooled knee actuator. In case you don't know, actuators act as the robot's muscles, allowing them to create controlled movement without suddenly getting stuck like a jammed engine. Together, these two make Bruce surprisingly agile when it walks, especially compared to the more common clunky and rigid steps of robots we're used to. It's also quite impressive that despite how tiny it is compared to other humanoid robots, Westwood's team was still able to install 16 DOF in total, a feat that would eventually 
eventually set the groundwork for the Themis V2's impressive agility in the future. But before their latest model came along, Westwood Robotics launched their first full-size humanoid robot in May 2024 at the International Conference on Robotics and Automation. As you probably guessed, the first Themis made its debut during the Japanese event at the ICRA 2024, marking the beginning of a new series from Westwood. The robot was a fan favorite, and even interacted with Boston Dynamics Spot, waving at it like a human would to demonstrate its intelligence and potential to interact seamlessly with humans. One of the engineers working on the team also showed off the Themis's impressive stability by trying to knock it over repeatedly to no avail, clearly showing that they were able to replicate and possibly improve upon Bruce's impressive lower limb proprioception and actuators. As you'd expect, the team carried their innovation into the next model barely a year later when they released the Themis V2. Bigger than their previous two models, it stood comfortably at 5 feet and 3 inches, with an impressive total 40 degrees of freedom. That's more than twice the flexibility and range of motion of Westwood Robotics's first humanoid experiment. They also made another upgrade to improve its human-like movement by making its arms 6 DOF and putting more advanced 7 DOF end effectors in its hands. In other words, the Themis V2 can move its arm in six different directions, while its hand can move in seven different ways. As a result, this humanoid robot is more precise in completing versatile tasks that require flexibility previously exclusive to humans. However, it's essential to remember that the human hand is still above the Themis V2, with 27 degrees of freedom in each hand. But considering how quickly Westwood's team went from 16 DOF in Bruce to 40 in its latest model in less than three years, I wouldn't discount their ability to create a model that exceeds human capabilities. Who knows, in a decade or so, we might live in the type of society that reserves some complex tasks solely for robots because humans are physically unable to keep up. But it's not enough to simply have more joints. New directions count for little if you're not able to control it, and to that end, Westwood developed some of the most advanced actuators in robotics to provide the Themis V2 with the necessary stability. The back-drivable electromechanical actuators for robotics, BEAR for short, acts as the robot's muscles, allowing it to move its joints smoothly and safely. The latter is especially important because Themis V2 can reach speeds of up to 6.2 miles per hour. Of course, you can also set it to stroll at human speed. It also executes more advanced mobility tasks like sprinting, jumping, and even basic parkour-like moves. And thanks to its actuators, it does all of this while maintaining its balance in different terrain. Unlike other humanoid models, such as Tesla's Optimus, the Themis V2 looks more like a machine in comparison, most notably in its hands, which look more like grippers than human fingers. However, some engineers theorize that these hands are way more practical for robots than making human-like hands that are more difficult to perfect. After all, our hands hands contain 27 bones, 34 muscles, and over 100 ligaments and tendons working in unison to help us thread a needle or write with a pen. As you might expect, replicating that level of detail in a robot while ensuring its hands are as strong and flexible as a human's is near impossible with today's technology. That's why most good robotics companies like Westwood and even Boston Dynamics Atlas opt for more gripper-like hands. Also, where other companies try to replicate a human face with emotions like Engineer Arts Amica or a smooth mask like 1X Technologies Neo, Westwood opted for a rectangular head with no facial features for the Themis V2. This choice kind of makes it look more wholesome, especially since it bears a striking resemblance to Wally from the 2008 Disney Pixar animated movie. As a result, the Themis V2 received a much warmer reception compared to other humanoid launches, like during Clone Robotics Proto-Clone video release. You should check out that video if you haven't seen it already. In other words, despite performing the same function, perhaps even better than other humanoid robots, having significantly fewer human-like features makes it seem like less of a threat. After all, when I look at its boxy build and the prominent LED indicators on its chest and head, 
The first thing that comes to my mind isn't that this robot could be part of Skynet. And I found that other people feel the same way during my research, but we'll get to public reactions in a bit. Let me know if you agree with those thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, looks can be deceiving because the Themis V2 is as functional as any robotic assistant set to hit the market. For starters, it has advanced sensors, including the 3M CV7AHRS from MicroStrain. This sensor delivers real-time updates on the robot's position, improving its spatial awareness and making it better at reacting to its environment quickly. Think of it like an internal nervous system that gives the Themis V2 reflexes and improves its orientation. It's why the robot can precisely track the slightest tilt or rotation. It's also capable of speeding up its motion and balance to a thousand times per second, almost in time with a human's reflexes. Besides its advanced sensors, the Themis V2 also has a robot operating system, ROS, which is a versatile software toolkit that allows you to reprogram it. In other words, users can easily modify the robot's functionality or create a new action for the robot to follow. That makes it remarkably adaptable to the real-world needs of its users. It also means the Themis V2 is unlikely to become obsolete because you can always just reprogram the software. That truly demonstrates how advanced this robot is and its potential as a humanoid assistant. Like other humanoid robots, the Themis V2 has a range of real-world applications. For example, its improved dexterity would certainly be an asset on any company's assembly line. According to Dean Fankhauser, Themis V2 aims to lighten physical and cognitive workloads in industries like logistics, manufacturing, and construction, marking a bold step forward in robotics. As a result, when these bots go mainstream, you can expect to find them working alongside humans in these fields. Besides, their easily programmable software means that every user can adapt the bot's actions to fit their needs and job requirements. In the long run, the Themis V2 could be part of a larger robotic assistant movement that reduces the need for humans to do repetitive or hazardous jobs. True to the company's roots and its initial collaboration with student folks, focused organizations like Romela, the Themis V2 could also be instrumental as a teaching aid for robotics. If Westwood also decides to make it open source like they did with their earliest humanoid model, Bruce, it could be useful to upcoming professionals in robotics learning how to make humanoids more interactive and agile. In the long run, that would facilitate robotic advancements and capabilities. Even the retail and hospitality sectors would benefit from having such an agile humanoid on their team. Themis V2 could act as a guide, receptionist, or customer service representative helping customers get the right information. Meanwhile, in the healthcare setting, Themis V2 could also assist with patient care by keeping individuals company or checking vital signs. In fact, it's hard to think of an industry that wouldn't welcome Westwood's newest model with open arms, especially since its public reception has been so warm since the launch. In the video the company uploaded, one user said, I find Themis's rectangular head to be wonderfully refreshing against all the competition's mirror mask faceless heads. Very cool. Another also added, I love this design. I really hope we see it walking. Those hands are damn cool. To which Westwood Robotics replied, thank you. We can't wait to show you those hands at work. I had to include that comment because I rarely see companies like these going out of their way to reply to users, and I thought that was really cool. Even though they're not as big or well-established as the likes of Unitree and Tesla, it still shows they're open to listening to their potential customers, and that could possibly lead to faster innovation and production turnaround that allows them to compete with the big dogs. But Westwood is also receiving approval from industry experts. In a comment replying to Dean Fankhauser's post on the Themis V2, Adam Bajalier shared, incredible leap in humanoid robotics. Themis V2 looks like a real game changer for industrial applications. Excited to see it in action. And while Westwood hasn't received any backlash so far, as a robotics company producing humanoids to take on jobs typically reserved for humans, there are still ethical issues surrounding their production. For instance, 
instance, large-scale sales of these bots could mean a massive downsizing for human employees in the industries where the Themis V2 can do a person's work faster and for less pay. That's why more and more people think there's a need for regulations to ensure responsible integration. Besides Themis V2, other humanoids that are gearing up to be the perfect humanoid assistant include Agility Robotics Digit. It also adopts more visually non-human characteristics and is an asset in warehouses where it carries packages and helps with logistics. On the other hand, 1X Technologies markets their Neo Gamma as a personal home assistant and companion that can help with laundry, cleaning, and groceries. As a result, it's highly unlikely that a single aspect of our homes or offices will be left untouched when these humanoid robots become mainstream. So what are your thoughts on the Themis V2 and its improved agility? Do you think Westwood Robotics has what it takes to compete with the likes of Tesla and Boston Dynamic? Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for making it all the way till the end.